Welcome back Poke fans to the playthrough of Pokemon Ash and Frost. So last episode we had quite a revelation for our character. So we spoke to Mordecai, went to our apartment, Louis Rosewell was waiting for us and basically told us that Leo, the chief of the police, is actually the Don of the Leonardos and obviously we didn't take it very well because he's been like our best friend for years. Then we went to the cemetery, found Leonardo, and he basically told us the truth and everything that had happened. And yeah, um, it was a tough episode for me because the battle with him was so hard. But I got it done in the end. So today, yeah, we're just going to pick up and carry on with the case. Oh, I should really give Truffles that Truffle. It's a favourite. Okay, this must be to evolve you, I suppose. I mean, it's a new way of evolving truffles, I suppose. And now that'll give us a mama swine. Which means we've finally got a Pokemon that's really strong. That's the only issue I'm finding is the Pokemon we have available to us aren't, like, the best, really. Um, no, I don't want to learn double hit. Although, what I have figured is... I always forget about... This. So... I'll go ahead and teach myself Ice Fang. Yes, only 65% accurate move, but... It's Stab, so... That's why we've learned it. Did I? I didn't. I don't think I ever checked. Polly's. Oh wow, his moveset really is that bad. All right then. So here we are in the as we've come out of the cemetery. Number man living in my number land, but us living in a building like a normal person. Tell me how many plant parks with red flowers there are here. Yeah, it's pure guess. And actually, Rich just asked the Mafia for a really big loan. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to battle you then. Gentleman Reginald. And you got a Ray Nicholas. So I'm going to Ice Fang. Um, Bulldoze. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Could always heal up after this anyway. Right, because here we are, back at the Pokemon Center. Go ahead and rest. See, I've noticed the games, like, took a big spike in difficulty. Like, with the Pokemon battles, really. Um, right, return home. It's the third apartment, isn't it? What the? My couches? My kitchenette? Where's the snow? Why are you in my apartment? Ah, well, you see, your apartment's been taken over for the cause. The cause of what, may I ask? The resistance. What resistance and where's Mordecai? No, Rosewell. Tell me where that puffed up tragic hero complex Ed. Easy there, Mr. Detective. Easy. I'm not in the mood to take it easy. My place is a mess and you melted all the ice for some ridiculous reason. Hey, I had a bit of trouble getting the coffee because... Jeez, it's tense. Are we going to fight? I'll help you out, sir. No one's fighting anyone, kid. Now, did you get my espresso? What do you mean no one's fighting? This is my apartment. Um, okay. Looks like we are fighting then. Oh, 
Right, I'm gonna ice thing. Why would you do that? Just the one Pokemon. What's all that about? That'll show him, right? Take him my things, move them around like that. Like they just own the place. Ha, <laughs> you guys always outclass me every time, but not with still on my side. You want to discuss this now like rational adults? Fine. Thank you. So, uh, why does it look like the lair of some crazy conspiracy theory still in here? That's one way of putting it. This, this actually reminds me of Monty's place. I may have uh, taken some notes from my late brother about how to organise information. What about the ice? I can tell already, I can already tell you Truffles is going to throw a fit. And believe me, you don't want to make a mammoth swine angry. We took a vote and decided it had to go. We can't work in sub-zero temperatures. I didn't get to vote. While you're out getting coffee, we voted for you in absentia. <laughs> Who is this we? Pascal and I have defected from the Leonardos. They no longer adhere to their core values and we've been betrayed. I've given them nothing but loyalty my whole life, but it's never stopped them from, um, I'm done. They've actually tried to kill me for no good reason, I'm done. We won't let ourselves fall victim again. So we're forming a resistance. What do you mean core values? You're a seasoned gangster. I doubt you regret the crimes you've committed over the years for the Leonardos. I can't really lie about that, no. I'm a schemer and I set up others to take the fall and do my dirty work. And you got to do it too, some sums are still fall for it. Yeah, you got that right. But the rules we have are important, you know. And after Don Raff died, Leo told us all higher ups, even Lucille, no more senseless killings. Leo, but still, you're friends with the Don? No. I guess they just both have the same name there. Guess my guts telling me there was something weird about him was off. No, your gut was right. Huh? Don't worry about it, Mordecai. One thing is that we're working our way to start them. We don't know how yet or what we're going to do, but it's the beginning. And let me guess, Roswell's heading the entire operation. You're good at this. So what detectives do after all? Roswell left a while ago, but told us to start brainstorming some angles. Right. Hey, hey so this is something you wanted to talk about. How are you feeling? Achoo. Does that answer your question? I meant emotionally. You want to talk feelings with me? It seemed pretty peppy for someone who's been suffering from the long term effects of poisoning. Especially since you were close to... It hurts, yeah. Leonardo and Raphael before him have always been good to me. And Raph was, but I'm tough. I'll get over it. That's why I've been poisoned twice over, didn't I? Yeah, he's got a point. Can't say no to be honest, Rosal has me hitting the books when it comes to city's history of all things. You'd think me being the scheming alley cat that I am would be involved in planning of some kind, but I guess not. I don't actually know to be honest, but if I were to take guess, Rosal's checking up on his daughter wherever she is. How are you? Learn all this stuff about the crazy life Monty's been living is pretty rough. I've never been a gangster, just a bodyguard. The company I worked for assigned me in my position with the Leonardos. Everyone else was too chicken to take it. Monty really didn't want me to take the placement either. Our relationship sort of fell apart because I did, and I regret that the more I learned, but I don't regret meeting Violet. She's a good kid. God, I'm lucky she's been a real help with just everything lately, despite how busy she is with her own work. Aren't you worried at all? I'm sure me telling Leonardo is going to add to a stress here, but we'll be worrying together, I guess. But first, you'll probably tell her what's going on. Not the kind of guy who gives orders, Miss Detective. I'm still waiting for instructions on my own from Rosewell. Ah. Okay, maybe we go and talk to Mordecai, because none of these are giving us anything. So, um, since you're not friends with Leo, does this mean that I've been promoted to best friend? No. Oh. Truffles is my best friend. Alright, fine. Is this meant I'm your best human friend? Mordecai, I don't even know how to spell your last name. Considering how many tickets and warnings I've given you that say something. That's okay, so I don't know how to spell Del Toro Guillermo either. I didn't come over here to talk about my social life. Oh, so we're here to talk about mine then. Because all I've really done is tried to get coffee. But there was this old man mumbling about a daycare in the way. Once he got sent back to the retirement home, the calf district was... 
So that last bit again about the old man. Well, there was this strange old man running around the district. It was pretty fast for a guy with a cane. The seal's father is Mr. Palomo, the daycare man. This could be an important lead if you want to learn about how to take down the Leonardo's. This could also try talking to Luciano as well. Lucia was his boss. Might as well use that resource in our corner. No, there's nothing new there. Okay, so I think we'll go to the retirement home and track down this Mr. Palermo. Which, happily enough, is right next to us. We need to tidy in this room for the occupant. Detective Lafayette, what brings you here? About your daughter. Lucille, what about her? She wants to kill me. We're talking about Lucille wouldn't hurt a fly. Loma seems intimidated. Why are you here? Lucille left me here. And I've been trying to get back to the daycare ever since, but these nurses are too persistent, they won't let me leave. Ah. Okay. She's a lovely woman. Um, yes, it's too bad that she's been so busy raising a family of her own. You yourself have said that Lucille left you here. Given how you've been trying to leave, I assume that it wasn't against, it was against your will. Well, Lucille's my only daughter. Surely you can't expect me to speak against her. She's a threat to others. I refuse to listen to this. She's complicit in kidnapping. That's the family she's been busy raising. She would have killed one of her husband's friends if she hadn't been stopped. What's one less gangster in the world, hmm? Hardly what I'd call a loss for this city. So you know who she's married to then? Really, no? No, no. She's got at least one innocent that I know of, Monty. Stop it. Please, what would it take to get you to talk about this? Find a way to sneak you out of here. I did the receptions to favour. I'm sure she'd let us leave together. She's paying them off. Hmm. It won't work. Then there's got to be some other way to get Palermo out of here. Maybe I should go back to my apartment and talk with the others. They might know what to do. Good to see you back and not throwing another tantrum about your apartment being taken over. Maybe believe me, I was tempted. But speaking of taking over, I asked my girlfriend Cordelia to help out. She's got connections with various archives, so we might learn something useful about the Leonardo family. Uh, I see, but that's not what I came here to talk about. I need help breaking out Lucille's father from the retirement home. Break him out? What kind of crazy place are they running? One where Lucille's paying off the workers are. I could probably pull rank and say that I'm removing him from the premises on Lucille's orders. It's not like they all know I'll quit. I think that could work. Pascal went to the retirement home. It might take him a while to persuade the workers there, so I think I'll check in with the others in the meantime. Oh, who are you? Whatever happens with... Oh, it's the girlfriend here. Yeah. We're in this together, and truth be told, I'm glad I can keep an eye on Pascal as well. Uh, after his little brother. You get the picture. Found in Legit. So, you're a Lafayette. What, gave it away? Would you mind going to the archives in Old Riverview for me? I need to cross check some information. Uh, I hate Old Riverview, it's disgustingly quaint. It's a place just north of the cemetery. Here, I'll write down the files I want for you. Achoo! Luciano, what did you say after some. What did you say are some of Lucille's weaknesses? Soft spots, anything relevant about her. Don't know if I'm the right person to be asking that still. I thought I could trust her and she proved me totally wrong. Still, you were a capo. Lay off. Okay. So, that clearly didn't work. Um, I suppose the only person left was Mordecai. What have you been up to, Mordecai? Well, I've been thinking so. Lou, uh, Rosewell, kind of pointed out that I have no useful abilities or redeemable character traits. What? That isn't true, and you know it. But I know. Hold on, you're defending me. I mean, well, yeah. 
Right, but like I was saying, I don't really have a lot of skills. I'm not sneaky like Luciano or tough like Pascal, but I'm still the one who gets harassed by the police. I know a lot of people in review, not just criminals, have a problem with the police too. A major part of that problem must be that the Don of the Mafia is also the chief of police, so why don't we reveal his identity? It's a good question, but it's a little more complicated than just one person. The entire institution is the problem, not just an easily identifiable figurehead. You're right about that, Silver. At least you guys weren't as bad when Chief Spell was in charge. Also true. Things would have changed after Spell's retirement. Save that idea for later, Mordecai. I think you might be on something. Meanwhile. Hey, you, Baldy. Who you calling Baldy, Blondie? We don't serve you gangsters anymore, Scram. Hey, hey, first of all, I'm not a gangster, I'm a bodyguard. Second of all, I'm not bald. Third of all, I'm just scoping out the place. Safe to come in, sir. Mr. Paloma, oh my gosh, we've all been worried sick about you. My apologies, Catherine, it wasn't my intention to worry you, and I tried to return to the daycare as quickly as I could. This gentleman here escorted me back. We thought something awful had happened. You could put it like that. Detective Palermo wouldn't talk and I didn't exactly want to rough up an old man in front of his overprotective daycare staff, but he did give me this. Ooh. Okay. So. We need to go and do Cordelia's thing. Which was... The old Riverview place, weren't it? I think. Does it tell you on here? Probably still got a blowtorch. Yeah, three different files from old Riverview's archives. I wonder why she put her dad in the daycare, though. Right, north of the cemetery. So, if we go this way. Oh no, you actually go through, yeah. There was a guy blocking you off right there, in here. I remember now. Yeah, there we go. What's going on? Just up north of the cemetery's old review east. I can't say I'm enthusiastic to return. Guess I don't have much of a choice but to share my face. You there? Me, uh, here. You're a Lafayette if I ever saw one. What's your name? Sylvester. Yeah, yeah, Sylvester what? The fourth. Well, that make us, uh, let's see, third cousins five times removed. Or maybe it's fifth cousins three times there. I guess it doesn't matter. What brings you to these parts? It's not often we meet in Lafayette we don't recognise. Well, I'm a detective. I need to visit the archives. That'll make us up at Mr. Palomo's home. It's strange. If I recall correctly, very few people outside of the family live here or own property. It'd be creepy if Lucille and I were related. I don't think being eighth cousin's nth times removed would stop her from wanting me dead. Well, good luck finding what you need. Said that sarsaparilla and root beer were basically the same thing, and then a bunch of angry Lafayettes practically jumped me and gave me a lecture. Much rather live somewhere like home where the criminals try to flood the entire world, turn it into a dusty plain. That seems much safer. Okay, so we got a nurse, that's good to know. I've heard about a sarsaparilla at the moment. If you need to hear, you could try checking the apothecary. Welcome in, Noel. A Jube Life Muffin. A recipe passed down from Sin originated from Jube Life. It's loved by a certain Pokemon. What the hell is that? Name's Sylvan you. No way, let me guess. It's Sylvester. I know you pronounced my name right, but for some strange reason, I can't help but feel he got it wrong at the same time. If you're going to keep talking to me, at least buy me a... S yeah, we don't have none of them. 
All right. Um, so we're looking for the archives. I'd assume it'd be a pretty big building. Oh, there's a whimsicott there. No, how come the key for Mr. Palomo won't work? This building has to be his house, but I guess I'll have to look for another key. No, I'm looking for the archives. Ah, oh, yeah, that's got to be this place, actually. There you are, Sylvester. You were outside counting for a real long time. I think you've got the wrong Sylvester. How many Sylvesters dressed like detectives can there be? I couldn't tell you I haven't lived here in years. None of my immediate family does. Well, do you at least remember how to play cops and robbers? Lafayette style. I've been trying to get the children out of my hair for ages and Sylvester volunteered to help. Well, yes, well, I just wanted to make a start to the back archives. If you know how to play, then you know one of the children has the key to it. Go find them. Oh, great. So, play hide and seek. That's a wall Pokemon. No lot of history here centers around the Lafayette family, but it tells so much about Review as well. Why have they got so much stuff about um What's it called? Why have they got like a full on history about the Lafayettes? Saw some children running in not too long ago. Right, you look like you're hiding. Is this just a stare off? Right, in here we go. Oh, there's one hiding down there as well. What, how'd you find me? You must have been cheating. Now I've just done this more times than I can count. I used to work at the museum when I was younger. Tourists and schools love this place for some incomprehensible reason. Meh, you know fun. Alright, so... Exit. And follow it all the way around. There should be one around here as well. Wahaha. <laughs> Am I one of the Lenalas who stole the archives key, or am I just another innocent Lafayette dupe? You'll never know. First thing I feel like the evil laugh gives it away. I have a sneaking suspicion that she's going to be the culprit. Well, for all you know, I'm taking the fall for someone else. This camera really needs three people, and I found them all. They'll be waiting in the reading room for me. The reading room? Which side that's going to be? Maybe this side. Well, you found us all, I guess. Guess which one of us has the key? The left, huh? So always a key to the left. Well, how do you know that? Maybe I'm the gangster who stole the key. I'm rough. I'm tough. I'm mean. You're also not the culprit. I was careful to keep track of the order that I found you all in. I know that you didn't all wait outside of the room. One of you unlocked it with the very same stolen key. The same one of you had been oddly quiet in protesting her innocence this whole time. It's because you have the key under your tongue, isn't it? Wow, well, great job. Um, I mean, detective. I don't have it. That's not part of the script. But we all agreed that you would have the key. How could you not? I don't know why it went. Please don't be mad. This just got a lot more complicated. So, what's this person down here doing? Climbed up here out of curiosity. So how am I supposed to find the key now then? Um, yeah, this makes it a little bit, um, I'm sorry I didn't mean to lose it. It's okay, we'll find it. That's what a detective is supposed to do after all. Right. 
Where do you remember last putting the key? Last time I had it was when we were outside. You just started to count and we agreed that I would be the one who would take the key. Okay, so it's got to be outside somewhere. Mum will grumble. That no good silver, my lazy bones. What do you want? What's the matter? You know perfectly well what's wrong. Uh, well, not really. Just look at this icy patch. Sylvan's supposed to melt all the ice so that we don't have any visitors slipping. I bet he's sitting in the tavern wasting his money away on sarsaparilla. If like I, I could get a blowtorch, we could have this puddle melted in no time. I'd appreciate if you would do that. Well, this seems like the place that Sylvester gave me directions to. I wonder why he wants this blowtorch. Well, that and why he kept it after the champ case. <laughs> Sylvester. Huh? I'm not Sylvester. You're not Sylvester either. What? Yes, I am. I am totally Sylvester. Are you Sylvester? Mordecai. It's okay, take your time. Mordecai. Sil? What does everyone here look like? It's freaking me out. Don't worry about it. Did you bring the blowtorch? Yeah, yeah. Now we can get rid of this pesky puddle. Thank you. No problem. Gee, so all that fuss and must just to melt a puddle. A very important puddle. And really what's up with all the you lookalikes? Why is there an entire district in the city that's used double team or substitute? You've never been to Old Review before. Still, we've been over this. I hardly ever come to the west side because of the police here. Well, they're a lot worse than the guys they station on the east. I see, well, running this tourist trap, uh, I mean, historical monument to the city is my family's business. This is where I grew up. Wow, so these people are like all related to you? Pretty much. Gee, you always struck me as the kind of guy who had absolutely no family connections. I mean, didn't Lou uh, Roswell say you have no close family? I don't. Well, I uh, guess I'll poke around a little. Not like I have anything else to do. Please set this Pokemon in return, a tourist abandoned it here. Why have they just gave us a random Kamala? Alright then, so what was we doing now? Kind of confused. Oh uh, yeah, said something about the guy with the sarsaparilla, which was I'm pretty sure we spoke to him, I'm pretty sure he was in here. Yeah. If you're gonna keep asking this by me a sarsaparilla. They've got genuine, I hear it's not actually good for your health though. But how am I supposed to get some because no one has any? Something special about that sign in the corner. Ooh. Oh, you know what? We'll, we'll do that at a later date. I'm just confused. Like, how did we get that person to continue talking to us? Sylvester, whoops, sorry, Mr. Cookie for someone else. Maybe we need to go down here. Hey, are there two of you standing there? Ooh, those two idiots. They're taking the job as historical actors too seriously. Let me guess they're supposed to be, pretend to be bootleggers. Yep, now I have to find substitutes. I don't suppose you qualify to act as well by any chance. Hick, hick, howdy cousin. I 
I'm a bit confused then what's the whole point of coming down here? Yeah, I'm definitely stuck. Or maybe that's not the apothecary then. You mean the 15 of the partners, kid. What do you know? You're not my real uncle. To be fair, we're just cousins of some sort. This isn't a wish you well, but I wish you well. Oh, and uh, I'm totally not standing guard or anything. It's definitely, this world definitely isn't also a secret hideout. Where's the apothecary then? So we have a bunch in the basement. They say sometimes gangsters will come here to hide bootlegged alcohol in the sarsaparilla. Okay. That's not what we need. Pretty sure this is a um, church. Some of the first Lafayette who came to review are buried here. I got some stardust. Hey, this is war in here, right? Sounds like something someone who knows that there isn't war in the trials would say. They know what's in here. Try checking the apothecary. I feel like we've been everywhere though. Counting snowflakes, would you like to guess what number I'm at so far? A trillion. You guess what's completely wrong though? 15 gazillion. Come on, the trillion's really close to that. Oh, Mordecai. Oh, hey, Sylvester, is there something you wanted? Yes. So, what is it? Can't think of anything to say. Well, I've got a question for you. What's up with that windmill to the east? Exactly what it sounds like a windmill. It's mostly for show now and a lot of the boards are rotting away. Now be sure to drink up your sarsaparilla. Sars sarsaparilla. You need to replenish your fluids and sugar quickly. Well, Sylvester, I think you should stay here a little longer just so you can rest. Tell me if you need to start to no notice any strange symptoms or if that gas reopens. Oh, well, actually, I think I'm seeing double. So am I. Huh. You laugh at and your practical jokes. I swear you all look the same. You know, out of all the laugh I've ever met you look like the most right down to the bandage I'll say the same to you Sylvester Sylvester no no I'm Sylvester with an I how did you know I'm saying it with a Y I just feel it I'll just call him I although being a pronoun it might wind up confusing things anyway so 
so how do I actually get anything Miguel and Josephine, I'm Lafayette though, through my mother's side. I think that's the name of my mother's father's granddaughter. I have no idea what that makes us. First cousins. Really, that's pretty close. What happened to you? Blit, I want to take this sarsaparilla off my hands. I can't stand it. Okay, so that's how we get it. Thanks, now's your story. I guess you're referring to this bandage. I've got on my head well. Greed's play a typical game with my nieces and nephews, so there I was counting away. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw a man, a blonde tourist, bump into one of my nieces. That's all I remember before I blacked out. Okay. Sylvan said he found me on the ground. You uncovered eyes testimony. Okay. So, now... We can go back, I think, and give this guy one. By then, I'll talk. You're not talking there. So, there's something you want? That oh, eyes testimony. What are you on about? Oh yeah, aren't you the one in charge of keeping the waterways clean around here? Sure am. So why haven't you? It's so like Sosperilla more. Besides, it's not like anyone really cares. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Keeping the area clear of ice is very important after all. And I can prove why. Oh. Eyes. I thought Sil Sylvester and he said that he blacked out. So... Clearly it was because he fell on the ice. <laughs> Alright, so maybe that was the case. I really was going to head over and salt the ice, but then I saw some blonde tourists bump into a girl. And then Sylvester, he lost balance and fell because of it. So I took him to the apothecary. And the tourists, where did she run off to? Looked like it was headed in the direction of the windmill to me. Alright then. Let's head to the windmill. I was going to say, it's got to be over this side, because we've been everywhere else. Right, not there. No, I don't think it's in the park. Oh, there it is. How do we get across? Ah, okay. It's one of them. What's down here? A oh, shortcut. Oh, I got duped. In fact, I didn't get duped. So I um, completely went the wrong way. I told you, me and puzzles do not go. No, I have to go that way. then you can't go any other way. Huh? I 
This is well confusing. Uh, okay, yeah. Go in this one, that's why. What is it with this game and puzzles, though? Does everyone in your family have to have a name that starts in Sil? It's really confusing. Right, Flapple. Just Ice Shard. You gotta love that. I don't know if we're going the right way here. You again. Magic Carp and I have been training in preparation for this. You're not getting in the way of my investigation. I'm not taking any chances, so you're gone now. Why is Heart here? That's the question. Alright, Cloth. I'm just going to bulldoze. Ooh, that wasn't a good idea. Although, really, Mac Punch. Stunfisk. It's kind of... Oh, actually, we've got Hippo done. Let's go Seed Bomb. That's quite good then. Whoa! Um, Shedinja, I can't actually do anything to. Let's get a lamb. Oh, I can't. Oh, yeah, I can. Whoa. Forgot about Shadow Sneak. Let's go Sparky. Bite. Nobody can actually do damage here. So for apple cider, truffles. Oh, what am I doing? Let's go truffles. Rock two. Yep, that gets rid of you. In comes Komala, so not bulldoze. Ollie. Well, I need to heal something. Um maybe lampant. Jesus, that did a lot. Out as a rock? What? Wasn't expecting that. Now in comes Komala. I don't understand how it goes for my, um, last resort. Like magic R, boy, if we just one shot to deep. So, still a tough battle. Can't believe I would lose to you at a second time. Hmm, not until now, I should still ask this detective what he's up to. Still time to keep my eyes peeled after all. That's because I'm tired. Tired of what? Yes. They didn't get me anywhere. Hmm, no one tonight I should still ask this detective what he's up to. Still time to keep my eyes peeled after all. You're in old with you, so you should expect to see many of us. That doesn't help me in my search at all. 
Just forget I even bothered asking. Going to the moon bound pool hall for a drink. This guy gives me a headache. Ah, okay, we got the key. That's good to know. So if we go back to the old thing, that should be able to get us what we need. Down. Please tell me there's a shortcut. I don't think there is. Here for the specific purpose of getting in the way. And don't you forget it. An ore beetle. Oh, I can shed over all. Would it be the end of the world if I got coyote here? Yep, yeah, because it takes me back to the beginning. Oh man, that's annoying. At least I know he's gonna, what he's going to lead off with, so... Yeah, we'll just go truffles because I can just rock to him. Also, how have we got a level 40 something lamp and he only knows Ember? Right, rock to him. You look like a genuine Lafayette. Is it true that your family used to have ties to the city's oldest crime family? Please, I just want to get out of here. Oh, Bulldoze is like quite effective here. Sandaconda, I'll just Ice Fang, Delete. And Mutsa. Okay. How do you like them apples? Which way do we want to go? I think we want to go this way, don't we? Yep, yeah, there we go. Oh man, that was more tough than it needed to be. Um, Alright, let's go this way. I'm back up here, won't it? How come the key from the thief won't work? Isn't this the one supposed to be for the archives? Come and think of it though, the key from Mr. Paloma looks a lot like the archives key too. Well, I last thing I had the right key all along. Are you kidding me? Oh man, I can't believe he's just done that to me. So, I need to... Ah, okay, there we go. Skim me through, I can see it's about the early Lafayette history. And it's a craze. Some of my more unsavory ancestors may have bootlegged on the side. The Leonardo's practically run a monopoly on crime now, though. One of the files could only requested I take out for a 6970. Skim me through, I can't see. I think it's about silver. He was a well moved from office for summoning Arcus and giving the deity a flame plate before commanding the Pokemon to bring Eternal Summer to Cold Cold Riverview. The heinous grunts wound up getting defeated by a mute 10 year old child who had just begun their Pokemon adventure. Well I can appreciate Silver's goal of getting rid of Winter, I feel like there were more better ways to go about it, like moving somewhere else. Oh, I can hear someone talking outside the door. Maisie for her permission. Lucille. Looks like I'll have to come back for that one. Three, four, six, seven's gone too. How are we just following her like that? At least five, nine, two, three hasn't been checked out. Now, whichever one of you look alike, Lafayette's following me. Could you please show yourself? Uh, no thanks. <laughs> 
I made a skill for a treat. Then he'd be on the windmill for a bit. It's where I used to hide when I was younger. This is important. I see the last of the files I needed. Guess it was lucky I got to them first. Should go investigate the Palermo home now and hope that Lucille doesn't beat me to anything important there. Just to talk to little old me when I take this. Trumbeak? It's a Pokemon, isn't it? How do I get... Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright then, so, I think we're going to end the episode there. And, um, yeah, next episode we head to Palermo House and... Go and investigate what's there. So, yeah, this is a pretty long case, actually. Because normally, I think the longest we've had was two episodes. This has been, this will be three. But, uh, yeah, it's getting good. Interesting. Um, a lot of stuff's happening. But, yeah, thank you, everyone, for watching. And I hope to see you all next time.